The search that lasted more than two months and during it, Matt Rule did come to Lincoln. He was actually snuck in the town and well, nobody knew about it. No, Rule and his family, Albert, said that they were walking around town on a game day. That's pretty impressive. That is impressive. We didn't know he was here. <laughs> no one did. That's the point. However, he's known for rebuilding programs, and this is how he plans to do it here. In terms of timelines, um, you know, I learned at the last place, you know, uh, to be careful to, to, you know, I probably didn't want to give a timeline. I, I, I want to win tomorrow. <laughs> I want to win right away. Um, you know, if, 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 if expectations sometimes run real, people get frustrated. I just know this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna work our tail off starting you know starting today and um, uh, we'll do it as fast as we can. Coach Rule did not release any of the names of the coaches who are joining his staff here. While many Nebraska fans are curious about Mickey Joseph and his future following his three and six run as interim head coach, Rule was asked about Joseph very early. It was the second question. Here's his response. I reached out to Mickey right when I got the job. Um, I'm looking forward to, to talking to him at some point here and talking to the rest of the staff. You know, I've been on both sides of it. You know, I've, I've, I've been an assistant coach on a staff that's been let go, and, and, I, and I've always appreciated the coach coming in and talking to me. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll try to be thorough with that process over the next couple of days. He does have, as he mentioned, a little bit of a relationship um, or knowledge of, of Coach Joseph, which I think can help. And so, um, it was not a requirement and ultimately this is going to be Matt Rule's decision. He's the head coach and he needs to hire the, the 10 assistant coaches that he believes gives him the best opportunity to win. Rule said the first thing he actually wants to do is sit down with the players and get a feel of whether they want to stay and what's been going on in the program. Then it's the staff in Joseph's status. And Trev also said that he thought it would be unfair to force Rule to hire Mickey Joseph because Trev also said when he became the athletic director here, if they would have told him he had to hire these 10 people. He didn't think that would have been fair as well. So it's all about keeping it fair and trying to set the Huskers up for success.